Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Oakley and this is my Grand Arbiter EGH deck for Commander. Okay, so we're going to start off with creatures. Uh, I don't have that many creatures in the deck, but there's enough. So we're going to start off with uh, probably my favorite creature in the deck, Sakashima the Imposter. He's really good because he can copy the ability of the general, but not the name. So you create a, basically a soft lock against your opponents. Then we go with uh, Ith Hierarchanist. He's good because you can suspend him. And he acts like Maze of Ith, but I'm too poor to afford the real card, so I use him instead. Then we go with Jin of Wishes. Uh, he's pretty synergistic with some of their artifacts and some other stuff I have in the deck. I uh, know artifacts are enchantments. And uh, he can get out your counter spells and other big things fast. Clone, obviously, just he clones stuff. Good. Clone Primeval Titans, get out your land. Rogue Queller, good for control. Frost Titan, tap stuff down, keep hitting them hard, and uh, he's hard to kill and hard to steal. Uh, steal Hellkite, flies and blows stuff up, not much, you don't need much more. Solemn Simulacrum, a staple in any EDH deck, obviously he fetches your land and he draws you cards. Thata, good against any deck, he goes, he steals artifacts, you can steal soul rings, basically anything. Consecrated Sphinx, staple in blue, gives you card draw, and it's a big nasty flyer. Yose, also, staple in white I find. He flies, he's big, and uh, he taps down your opponent for an extra turn. Good finisher. Teferi, great, great, great against other blue decks and anybody else that runs a lot of instants or sorceries. Zoro of Temptation, steals. All I'm all about stealing. Stormtide Leviathan, part of locking down your opponents. Sarah Ascendant, 6-6 six, six flyer with lifelinks for one. I think it's pretty good. Sun Titan, gets back your own stuff. He's amazing. Mnemonic Wall, probably a creature you won't see in a lot of EDH decks, but he comes out and he brings back an instant or sorcery from the graveyard, which is great in the deck. Linvala, your opponents can't use activated abilities, you start hitting them hard. And Linvala, it brings back enchantments and artifacts back from your graveyard. Alright, now it's time for enchantments, yeah. We got here, Planar Collapse. It's like uh, Wrath of God, but it's an enchantment form, so you can keep recurring it, and uh, they can't regenerate. Take Possession, steals any permanent, instance, uh, not instant no. speed, but it can't be countered or anything, because it has split second, so it steals Planeswalkers and anything else that's nasty. Goes to prison, makes it harder for people to attack you, always good. Future side. Uh, it's a really, really good card. It allows you to play with the top card of your library as though it were in your hand. And it works with Gen of Wishes, it works with anything. You can play lands from the top, it's just a great card. Volition Reigns, again, steals permanence, untaps them. It's just amazing. Copy Enchantment, I find a staple in blue. Name's pretty self-explanatory, it copies enchantments. Corrupted Conscience, it's like Mind Control but it gives it infect, which I find is good, because if you're stealing attacking creatures, you can kill people faster, but if you're stealing utility creatures, then the infect is kind of just useless. Confiscate, just steals permanence, which I'm all about. Uh, control magic, uh, just steals creatures, but for cheaper mana cost. As you can tell, I'm all about stealing. And Copy Artifact, just a good thing, it's cheap, comes out easy, and it can copy a Darksteel Colossus or anything else that's threatening. Alright, now we're going to rock and roll with Artifacts. I have one, two, three, four, five maybe, it's not a lot, but uh, see him. Crystal Shard, bounces your own creatures back if there's a board wipe, bounces your opponent's general back to their hand, good card. Soul Ring. Yeah, it's autographed, which is kind of cool, and it's not actually black bordered. That's drawing. I got it for like five dollars, so whatever. Zora Signet, Mana Rock in my colors. It's cool. Top, just a a staple. You need it. And uh, Mimic Vat. 
put pe put people's creatures in there, spout them out. It's just an amazing card. All right, so I'm gonna show you spells now. We're gonna start off with board wipes. Right, first one, hollow burial. Best to take care of generals. It puts all creatures on the bottom of their owner's libraries. So you're not killing anything, so it's better for graveyard recursion. Another thing that's good is Final Judgment. It removes all creatures from the game. Also gets rid of generals and other annoying things. Day of Judgment kills everything. Wrath of God kills everything. Austere Command gets rid of anything you need to get rid of. All is dust. Everybody sacrifices all colored permanents. If you're really in a pinch, you wipe the board of everything that scares you. Alright, so now I got counter spells. I got a lot of them. Rewind. Counter target spell on top lands. Forbid. You buy back. If you have Reliquary Tower out in a big hand, you just keep bringing it back. Mind Reek Trap counters Boseju because it doesn't counter the spell, it removes it from the game. And you can play it for free if you have to. Last word the counter spell that can't be countered, you get that upper hand against blue decks. Spelljack, counter target spell, and you can play it any time you'll be able to play the spell. So you counter big fatties and play them on your opponents. Commandeer, really great against people who like to play things like Genesis Wave and Court of Calling or anything like that. Because you counter the spell. Actually, you don't counter the spell, you get the spell. Pinder, best counter spell against generals, because it puts it on the bottom of the opponent's library. Force of Will, amazing, free counter spell for one life. All right, so Absorb, uh, counter target spell, gain free life. It's cheap. And my favorite of all the counter spells, Cryptic Command. Counter, draw a card, bounce stuff back. It doesn't have a drawback. It's just beast. Counter spells. All right, so now we're gonna rock and roll with some spot removal. We got a weird one you may not have seen before. This is Crib Swap. Remove target creature from the game and replace it with a 1-1 changeling. I call it the baby maker. Sonic Blast. Uh, it's the only sp spell in blue that deals damage. So it's kind of like a, a lightning bolt, but blue. It's good. Twist the Plow Shower. Remove stuff from the game. And you give him life. And then of course, Path to Exile. Remove stuff from the game and you give him a basic land. Good trade off. All right, these are miscellaneous spells that I like because they're good. Twin cast. You know, everyone knows what it does. Mystical tutor. Tutors up anything you need. Time warp. It's fun. You get to take an extra turn. Call to mind. Essential. Brings back anything from the grave. Uh, any instant or sorcery from the graveyard. Trick mind. Counters activated their triggered abilities. Holy Day, White Fog, Disenchant, get rid of pesky uh, artifacts or enchantments, and Breath of Life, return target creature from your graveyard to play. It's pretty amazing. Alright, I got two cards here, they're Planeswalkers. We got Jace Bellerin, good for card draw, uh, also good for politics. If you don't want people to kill you, just tell them you give them cards. And of course, Elspeth, amazing. Gives your creatures flying, beats people, gives you blockers, and of course makes everything you have indestructible, which is key. Alright, like I said, I'm all about stealing and copying, so I got a couple more spells that do that. Red Replication. It's like a clone, but you can kick it and you can put out five. It's really good against things that uh, destroy permanence. Choir. It's like bribery, except it steals an artifact from an opponent, so you can steal that big nasty thing that they're going to hit you with. <laughs> Tell them performance, or as I call it, TP. It mills from the top, and I can't find a bribery because they're impossible, and it also kills the decks with no creatures, <laughs> as, uh, as my buddy Henry knows. And then uh, gather specimens, really good for people who play more than one creature per turn. You play that, and then any creatures that come into play on your opponent's turn, you get. So it's really good against Genesis Wave. And Nalak Exploitation, search your opponent's library for any instant or sorcery and play it for free. 
if your opponent's kind of a dick and plays with uh, cards that allow them to take two or three turns, you just steal it and you be the dick. All right. All right. So you need basic lands. These are basic lands. They're pretty basic. <laughs> So we get that out of the way. And these are the non-basic lands. See Chrome Coast, produces my colors. If it comes out early, it's good. If not, then whatever. Celestial Colonnade, or Colise as I call it. Um, it flies, it hits, produces my colors. Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, I don't really need to explain, because it's Hollowed Fountain. Another land that produces my colors. It's pretty good. I was going to play tapped. Can produce any color by removing a charge counter. So I just produce blue if I have to. Mystifying Maze gets rid of tokens and also exiles things that you don't want to hit you. It's not bad. Misfail Plains comes into play tapped. If you control two white permanents, you can tap it and then put a card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. You got Talaria West, it transmutes, it can find better lands. The car wastes, pain land of my colors. Strip mine, I don't like to be a dick with it, so I don't strip mine basic lands, but it gets rid of Gaia's Cradles and other nastiness that's out there. Fazufa, it's the clone land, you just clone anything, so if the other person, I don't have a lot of expensive lands like Diamond Valley, but I play with people who do, so uh, is key. That's my phone. Let's just turn that off. <laughs> Alright. Um, we got Glacial Fortress. Obviously, it's a dual land. It's pretty good. Reliquary Tower. No maximum hand size. Best land for not having a hand size. Mystic Gate. Produces my land. It's good. And we got Wonder One Hub. I, don't, I only have one Merfolk in the deck, so a lot of people ask me why I play it, but... It's a land that produces my colors, so I tell them why not. Refugee, comes to play tap, gains me one whole life. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Bounce land, produces two, and if you play with people who are dicks and strip mine it, then you get to punch me in the face. Coastal Tower, comes to play tap, produces my lands. And now the most expensive card in the entire deck, the Tundra, ladies and gentlemen. Took me a long time to get it, but I'm happy it's there. And uh, now, last but not least, the general. This is the only Grand Arbiter, I hope, in the world that has this kind of altar. I had it altered by a... Uh, card Kitty. Yeah, by Card Kitty. It looks amazing. I'm really happy with it. And I love the general as a general. I love the art. It's just one of the best cards, in my opinion. So this has been Kevin Oakley, and thank you for watching Commander.